everyone. Welcome to my weekly messages. I'm Jalela Starr. Today the topic is a mid-2012 update. Where were you and what were you thinking about this time back in, say, 2002, 10 years ago? What did you think it would be like when we got to this point? I know everybody had their ideas. So like, you know, California was supposed to be in the ocean by now and Oh, all these crazy things were supposed to happen as far as earth changes and all these prophecies would be fulfilled, you know, and the whole four horsemen of the apocalypse and, you know, well, let's take stock. California's still there. Yeah, all those of you who are living in Malibu and down by uh, San Diego, you know you're still hanging and life is pretty good down there. But it just goes to show that a lot of things that we were told have not come to pass. And that, I believe, gives credibility to what we were told by the guides that we were going to get a free pass from Nibiru this time. And yes, on that topic, it is very close. It is, uh, well, not pretty close, but we can see it because it's... Uh, it's uh, like peeking out behind the sun because it's on the other side of the sun from us as it's coming up from the south. In any case, we talked about that last week. So if you want to know more about that, then just go to last week's weekly message. But where I want to go today is to talk about what we are experiencing now and what we can see in the near future and through the rest of the year. This is pretty simple. It's very compressed so because um, we have limited time here. What I see happening is this month, June, is going to be a game changer. Yes, we have seen there's been a lot of positive improvement. Um, there's a lot of things that uh, prophecies that did not come to pass, but there is still, you know, a lot that, that needs to be changed in order for us to achieve the level of consciousness to create the reality we want once our planet passes uh, across the equator, the, galac uh, the, the galactic equator um, at the end of 2012, which is the only real big thing that's happening at the end of 2012, is our planet every, 30, every 13,000 plus years crosses the galactic equator and through a field of energy that emanates from the galactic core, which will be like a, a quickening because that energy that we move through that field is very high neutrino energy, it, it, it vibrates at an extremely fast rate, so it, what it does is just speeds up everything that you're thinking. And think about how quickly you're manifesting things that you think right now, both positive and negative. So back to what I was saying, this is a month to be a game changer, and the part of the reason is because A, we've got a, a lunar eclipse, and a lunar eclipse tends to bring to light things that are hidden on an emotional level. And at the same time, we're going to have another round of massive solar flare activity, which is going to be bigger than the last uh, round that we had recently, according to uh, um, scientific sources, which you can go look that up. Anyway, um, so be between the two, what we're going to see is uh, you might see some disruption in the electromagnetic grid. So... I always encourage people to get some really good battery backups for your valuable electronics like your computer and your monitor. And also just be aware that you're going to have some glitching on your cell phones and, and other electronic devices as we go through uh, this, this, this period here. But at the same time, what's shaping up on a global scene, which I've been talking about for a while now, is we're going to see come out of this a major financial reset. And as you know, they always say that money makes the world go around. And so when you reset the financial system, everything else changes as a result. I think we're going to see that probably within the next month at the longest. You know, now that can change. I'm not saying it's absolutely going to be in this next month. But when, if, if it does, it's going to be a huge game, game changer because here in the United States, what it will do is it will eliminate our debt. I mean, our mortgages will be taken care of. Um, credit card debt will go away. The Federal Reserve will go away. And in return, we'll have a new U.S. Treasury and a new money that we'll be using on a daily basis. So everything is going to be changing here pretty soon. So that's what I see here at mid 
at the midpoint of 2012. The, the big thing we want to see is that there's going to be upheaval in our personal relationships. And that's going to be a good thing. Even though it's painful when it arises, what's going to happen is because of the all the energy coming to the from the sun, these solar flares, they don't just do negative things to us, like disrupt our cell phones. They can also provide support, energetic support, for us to be able to clear very old issues within our families that have caused us to be separate. And those of us who are star seeds and light workers, we know we have to reconnect with our, with our families. So here's an opportunity to get unprecedented support energetically to finally clear old, old issues that you had given up hope that would ever be cleared. I personally have gone through one recently that I never believed would ever get cleared. And it has been, well, for our family, a big game changer. So the other thing, of course, is a big financial reset that you're going to be seeing that's going to change the game for everybody living on this planet. So good things are ahead. Yeah, there's going to be some rocky stuff, so hold on to your hats because it's going to be, you know, a pretty wild ride. But keep doing your emotional clearing. Keep asking your soul to bring that stuff forward. Keep taking the steps forward. Hold on to your faith. And I'll see you next week.